Hi, this is Martijn from SkyGeo. Uh, welcome to the Fringe 2021 e-poster session uh, on INSAR for the built environment. I am talking today uh, about uh, INSAR as a key element of geotechnical safety management. And I'll uh, share my presentation. Um, and we, were, we created this poster together with uh, Robert Smich from Sibelco. Uh, Sibelco extracts and refines various types of minerals and secondary raw materials with sites all over the world. Uh, with, uh, besides high quality industrial silica, Sibelco mines and many, many other materials for industrial applications such as clay and kaolin, olivine, olivine quartz, feldspar and barite. Um, so I'm from SkyGeo. SkyGeo is an INSAR market leader providing monitoring to mining and civil engineering and uh, Peter Bas Lezenberg is as well. So um, Sibelco operates different types of mines, such as underground mines, surface, open pit mines and quarries and dredging operations. So for, there's lots of geotechnical diversity for the, all these quarries and mines. So for different mines, uh, different geotechnical domains apply, uh, and also the, some are part of the rock mechanics and some are part of the soil mechanics. Lucibelco is very focused on safe mining, and in order to mine safely, they must manage a geotechnical risk. They have their own safe mining performance standards for this, and it's important to show because it shows how Sibelco safety culture and design. Uh, and monitor processes in the mines and quarries and how they are intertwined and in, interbedded with processes such as geotechnics and the mine design. So there's different applications, uh, different types of mines, so it's quite complex. So they do a lot of geotechnical, of course they, they have to do geotechnical monitoring and uh, for the geotechnical design, for example, of the slopes and the tunnels and the caverns, Belco follows the, the principles of Euro Code 7. Um, and um, typically, they, they do a lot of uh, uh, observations uh, uh, based on monitoring. During the project realization, such monitor, monitoring takes place to verify the design and to check if all the specifications are met. Uh, and after the project, you monitor to uh, the type of monitoring depends on, on the design, uh, on the geotechnical category, the mining method, and the geotechnical environment. So the monitoring of slopes in hard rock environments is different from the monitoring in uh, clay quarries or the monitoring in slopes of underwater dredging operations. Because of all these different types of mines, they use a lot of different types of deformation monitoring, uh, and this figure shows uh, some examples. Uh, some uh, uh, reflectors and some Sibelco's own sensor and uh, radar reflector uh, in the left corner uh, and on the right hand bottom corner actually some inside data from one of their mines. So how do you use this inside data? For Sibelco the inside data is a key element in managing the geotechnical risk uh, both inside and outside of the mines and quarries. Um, so they use it not only within the sites for stability issues, also to, to discuss the surround the effect of the mining or the potential effect of the mining on the surroundings. Um, and with by using INSAR data that is continuously updated, they always have an up-to-date view of all the queries available. Uh, one of the benefits of using INSAR is the availability of historic data. Uh, with this, it is possible to go back in time and show that the movement of, for example, a house occurred prior to the start of the mining operation. So this can be used uh, in discussions uh, about the effects of mining, for example, with regulators. INSAR is also used as a shared data source um, uh, to refer to. So some of the monitored sites they have very little deformation and very little activity. So using INSA data, the slope stability can be evaluated without every, anybody ever uh, having to enter the, the quarry. Uh, the other way around also uh, applies. Large deformations can be expected when dumping waste material, and uh, they can be seen in the INSA data as well. 
So by inspecting regularly the geotechnical management, they can spot risk and also direct the on-site engineers for further inspection. So apart from being practical, using remote sensing data is also economical. Uh, the cost of monitoring a large number of sites uh, using INSAR are a fraction of the cost of manual measurements. And while they don't fully replace the manual measurements, INSAR helps as an automated complementary system. Uh, and it helps to optimize the use of on-site people, but also the use of on-site instrument resources. And by inspecting regularly the geotechnical management, they can spot the risks uh, and take appropriate action. So thank you all for your attention. Um, I want to shortly mention that at SkyGeo we're always hiring and always looking for uh, INSAR experts. So if you think monitoring a, a whole bunch of mining sites all around the world is interesting, please reach out to us at skygeo.com careers or jobs at skygeo.com. Thank you. Goodbye.